guys, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing some lip swatches for you. I've done them in the past and you guys seem to have really liked them for, you know, it's helpful to see what shade you're like. <laughs> um, there's some new lip products out by Benefit which are really awesome. Well, I haven't tried them yet, but they look awesome. The idea is really awesome and they're called Double the Lip. They're real. It's from the They're Real range and they're called Double the Lip. don't know if that's focusing. I hope it is. I can't see the camera very well from where I am. But basically, they have a lip liner and lipstick in one. One end of the lipstick is darker than the other end, and obviously the darker end is the lipstick. They're in like this shape which looks kind of like a, t um, a teardrop, so they're in like the perfect shape to create, you know, a nice cupid's bow and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is swatch all of these for you and give you my first impressions. There's eight. Um, of these in the collection and my first impression I must say is the colours are all quite, not all quite similar, there are a lot of colours that kind of are quite similar to one another but there's only eight in the collection so it's not really fair of me to say that you know they're all the same because they're not, they might look different on the lips as well so I'm just going to get straight into this, do the swatches and show you what they look like so first of all I'm going to be using Nude Scandal So I've done the top lip, the bottom I'm going to maybe turn it the other way so the darker bit goes around the outer part of my lip. So that is Nude Scandal. Um, it feels really creamy on the lip. This is the first time I've ever tried one of these lip products. Really creamy and soft, it feels quite hydrating. It's got a slight scent to it as well. Um, so the outer part of my lip will be slightly darker than the centre. I think it's such a good idea. And I think the shape of the product makes it apply quite easily. Next up is Lusty Rose. Now this looks quite similar to Nude Scandal but it's slightly darker. And this is Lusty Rose. Again, it feels really similar in texture. I think they all will. I feel they instantly make your lips look a little more plump because that's got that slightly darker edge. Next is Criminally Coral. I don't know. It sounded like I had real trouble saying criminal. Did I say criminal? Criminally. There we go. Criminally Coral. Now already, I know I've only done the top lip. I can see the lip liner is more prominent with this shade than the other shades before because the lip liner on the edge is like a more of a ready coral whereas the centre is an orangey coral so that's quite cool, it gives an ombre effect. That one really works, I think that's really cool. Next up is Flame Game and it's just real fiery orange. I'm actually surprised with this one. I thought the lip liner would show up more than it has. I'm not really keen on this one, but I think this will look gorgeous on darker skin tones. Um, I feel like the lip line didn't look so prominent as it did in the previous colours. Um, but yeah, still really creamy again. Um, and yeah, actually I'll probably really like this in the summer, so I'll probably eat my words in a few months. But it's February, so. <laughs> Next up is Fuchsia. Fever, which is like Barbie's dream colour by the looks of it. I really like the colour, it's like real pop. I think it's a really nice Valentine's Day, it looks quite nice because I make it actually. So this is Fuchsia Fever. <laughs> Come on Barbie, let's go party. But this one feels a little bit more matte but it's still really creamy. It's really creamy but it just feels a little bit more like it would last a bit longer maybe than the nudes. But I really like it. This one is called Pink Thrills. So this one is Pink Thrills. I think this is really similar to like the um, criminally cor I can't say the word. criminally coral. The fact that it looks more ombre than some of the others. Like obviously the others are, have a slight darker edge, but I feel like this one. Has a quite obvious, not obvious where it's like, oh my god, lip liner, lipstick, but kind of like that real soft gradient to ombre. I think it's really pretty. 
Now we have ripped up red, which is a real true red. Like the lip liner is really true red. And then the lipstick part is like a more pinky red, I'd say. So that is revved up red. I think that's a really pretty shade. I went a bit more under applied <laughs> the fact that I was looking quite far away from my mirror, so I was a bit like. <laughs> but it is a really pretty shade, and again, really creamy on the lips. And the final shade in the collection is called Juicy Berry, and it's this beautiful berry shade. If it focuses, she looks like this. And that is Juicy Berry. I think that's a really pretty shade as well. All in all, I think this is a really good concept, the fact that it's got the darker lip liner and the lipstick in one. I've actually noticed that these are... I'm really confused at what these are called because on the bottom they say um, Beyond Sexy Lipstick and Liner in one, but on the front they say Double the Lip, they're real. So I'm a bit confused as what they're actually called. Um, but I really like the concept. I found this one a little bit difficult to put on, but I think it's because I've had so many lip products on that I'm kind of getting a bit smudged now. But I think it's a really pretty shade. Like again, it looks really nice with my eye makeup. Um, yeah, I think they're really nice in a really nice packaging in their traditional bare real packaging, which is the same as the mascara. Uh, like I said, I think this is a really good concept and something a little bit different to what I've ever seen before. And um, they're really lightweight to hold and. The colour choice, although it's not a large colour selection, um, I did say at first that they are really similar to one another, um, but they are a bit different actually. I feel that some of them are a little bit more ombre effect than the others, but I suppose you're not just buying it for the ombre effect, you're buying it to act as a lipstick and lip liner. I quite like my lip liner to look a little bit more defined than obviously my lipstick. Um, and some of them are really like good at that, but some of them are a little bit wishy-washy in that respect. Although I do think this is a good product and something that I would recommend trying because it's something a little bit different and a little bit more fun. Um, I really like this shade and let me know what your favourite shade is and I will feature you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.